Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, it's Taylor. Today is Sunday. I made a video earlier and posted it on the channel, but some shit happened with the audio, and there were things I needed to address that I didn't. So I wanted to address them now. I'm in my car because I was on my way to get my friend when I noticed there were some nasty comments in my old video. So I figured I'd redo it. Sorry, I'm in a parking lot. I figured I'd redo the video and address some of these nasty comments and delete the old video just so we can ever get everything straightened out and stuff just so we're all on the same page here. First of all, to those who have wa who watched my past video, I apologize for my audio. It was really shitty and I think it was YouTube honestly because like I went through and watched the audio, I mean watched the video on my phone again and it wasn't necessarily the audio. It was j it was YouTube's, like, uploading process, I guess, that kind of fucked it up. So thanks for y'all bearing with me and letting me know that happened. I didn't get to watch the full video. I didn't get to watch the whole video through, I guess I should say. So, yeah. This week, um, as I said before, but going to mention again, this week's topic is feminism. And, like, our stances on that and if that, if or how that's changed as a, as I, if we've transitioned. First of all... I wanted to address a comment. I'm not a fucking unicorn. And you can't tell me that you should have stayed whoever you were. Shout out to YouTube comments on my last video. I just wanted to address that because that was a really shady thing to do. And if you don't support the transgender community, why the hell are you watching a video on the transgen- Like, on someone specifically on a trans collab. Like, come on, bud. Um, I'm sorry, um, this is gonna throw a little shade because I am very bitter about this. And I don't understand why people are watching videos and, like, rude, posting rude comments when they know exactly what they're getting themselves into by watching this video and they know exactly who's gonna be posting. And I think we make this pretty accurate on the channel. So I just wanted to say that a little bit, kind of, but... Going into the actual topic besides me shading people commenting on the video because goddamn. Um, first of all, meninism is not real. Thought I'd say that now. Meninism is the furthest thing from real and it's just created so there's an op opposition to feminism which isn't even tied to the female gender at, I mean female sex at all. Thinking about it in realistic terms and how it's been being portrayed recently. Feminism is the political, economic, and social equality. So no one is better than the other of the sexes. And they just want to create an even playing ground where it's equal pay unless it's like competitive like wages. Like different levels of like, you know what I mean? And I feel like that's something that, I mean, obviously it was like not understood correctly apparently. But... <laughs> I guess, like, people don't get that, you know, people deserve equal rights and the wage gap is still there no matter how much people tell you it's not. It's still there. Maybe in less situations than it used to be, but it is still there in its entirety. And if, literally, you can just look at statistics. Like, I'm not trying to compete. I have a stance on feminism where I believe that everyone is equal, and that's my views on it. But, like, also, people are entitled to their own opinions. But just, like, be careful, I guess you can say. Because these opinions affect other people. They affect jobs. They affect a lot of shit that people don't talk about. And, like, I know last time, like, in my older video that I'm going to delete and remake, which I'm doing right now, um, the fact that... I was sexually harassed as a teenager who didn't fully identify as ma masculine yet. I presented very androgynous, but I still had long hair, and I still had a big chest, so that kind of presumed a lot of harassment. I mentioned that in the video, and I'm sorry, but also not all, not only women get harassed, non-binary he'll get harassed, men get harassed. I was just touching upon the topic of we don't talk, we talk more about f uh, female identifying people being harassed because that's what we need. 
and we also don't talk about men being like assaulted and stuff like that which also needs to change and i feel like by empowering one to make a change this also deters another but also thinking about it in a critical lens like thinking how many jobs are open to men like in construction field for example that's something that's very gendered i went to a book school for high school and they had like very gendered shops so just again equality and shit like carpentry doesn't have to be just for guys like there are girls in there there are people who don't identify as either in there like it's a very open place i was going to be in carpentry honestly but i was in paint and design which was a male trade but oh my god i am sitting in a shaw's parking lot right now so like swag at shaw's promote me <laughs> no i'm kidding i don't work at shaw's um but like just generally like eliminating these practices where we consider one sex higher than the other like higher up in the ladder here and if people say that doesn't happen i want to laugh at them because it totally does and i'm just going to round this out now and do a little update on my life so obviously i'm sitting in my car right now um last week i was at the summit which was really cool and i was stoked it was my third year with them and second year staff, I'm probably getting weird looks in a car. Um, but probably think I'm having car sex or something, but that doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think what is going with that. Yeah, someone was really rad though. I got to make some awesome friends. If y'all are watching this, swag, what up, squad. Um, but um, I'm enduring my last few weeks back in Massachusetts, in this part of Massachusetts. I'm sorry. Before I go back to school, I go back on the 6th of September, so I will be on a day I make a video. Whether it's going to be in my dorm or not, because that's going to be a big question that I don't know the answer to yet. Um, also, going down the list tomorrow, on Monday, um, I'm going to take a Peter Pan bus from Worcester to Albany with my friend. And we are meeting Fifth Harmony, and I'm going to sob because I love them and they could fuck me up any day. I'm not gonna put as much emphasis on that because, like, y'all know they're gonna fuck me up. Like, come on. Um, then I'm working a lot. Thursday, or I think it's Thursday. Thursday is gonna be my 10 month on T. Next Monday or Tuesday is gonna be my two month post op. It's gonna be a rad time, but I hope y'all have an awesome week. Thanks for catching in with me. I will see you next Sunday. Cool. Bye.